Buenas noches, good evening. My name is Javier Cantu with South Texas Contender. We're here in Brownsville, Texas. Tonight, we're here at the uh, All-Star Fight Night 2, presented by Cavazos Promotions and MT Media Promotions. We have the honor of having Brownsville trainer, Robert, here? Robert Campos. Robert Campos with us. He's known for, uh, for training uh, Augustus. He also trains Sergio Perales, Tana Sean Perales. And so he's got a good stable of fighters. Robert, why don't you tell us, let's start off first with uh, Sergio Perales' most recent fight a month ago, a little bit over a month ago. It was a hell of a war, a brawl against uh, La Cobrita Martinez in San Antonio. You guys came out victorious. Uh, how was Sergio doing after that fight? Well, right now, but, uh, he took some time off to you know, recuperate from the hand and the knee. But he's back in the gym, you know, working lightly, you know, but he's getting there little by little. I mean, this fight was a hard fight. Actually, Sergio wanted it so bad. Ever since uh, Sergio actually sparred with him when uh, Sergio was actually an amateur, and um, La Cobrita was still a professional. So I actually took him up to Austin to spar with him, and he did very good. Even uh, La Cobrita was very impressed with Sergio. Like, man, this guy reminds me when I started fighting. This guy is quick, he's fast. I mean, uh, it reminds me completely of me the way I started. And uh, when they actually offered this fight, we actually had another fight, you know, scheduled to fight another guy. But when this opportunity came up, we actually go like forgot about the other fight and just came to this one because Teddy wanted this fight so bad. So I know I can beat this guy. And like I said, at the beginning, we almost knocked him out in the first round, but Teddy messed up his hand. And then the knee, as, as you were there right there checking out the fight. But uh, like I said, he's got a lot of heart, man. I and mean, he's a warrior. He still got up and everything. He got dropped, but he got up. He came in here. I told him in the, the last round, I said, hey, man, you got to beat this guy. Either knock him out or drop him, man, because the fight is very close. Because you know something, Robert, I'm going to suck it out. You know, all the pain that I have, but I'm just going to do my thing. And he went at it and he knocked him out, man. That's the whole thing about it. You know, the fight, he, he wanted to win so bad. And he got the win, man. Now, for those of you that weren't able to travel to San Antonio to, to catch a fight, you can look it up on SouthTexasContender.com and read uh, a summary of what happened. Uh, Perales won by stoppage in the last round, in the 10th round. He did, however, go down in the second, and I believe in the seventh round. Third and seventh. Third and seventh round. And he did suffer an injury to one of his, to his left hand, and he did suffer an injury to one of his knees. Uh, those injuries, fully healed, were they too serious? Uh, the knee was is a lot better, man. The, the hand's a little bit still, uh, he's in pain a little bit. Not as much as back then, right? But it's gonna take a little bit more time, maybe a month more. To get that completely, you know, uh, I'm not saying 100%, but at least enough to where he can fight again. Okay, now, uh, very tough fight. Uh, it's only been a month. In my opinion, what should be a fight of the year candidate, we'll, we'll, we'll get to see about that, but uh, what, what's up next for Sergio? What, what news do you have about it? Well, like right now, I'm just trying to get him back in shape. I mean, there's a lot of talk about fights in England and, and other guys here, man. But uh, right now, like I said, what we're actually, what we're actually trying to focus on is to get back in shape because, like I said, he took a, a month off and he got to start all over again, man. And hopefully his knee and his hand gets better, man. And uh, we're going to kind of like more or less tell when we spar. See how he feels. Hopefully his hand doesn't hurt no more in the knee. Hopefully he can move the way he used to move. I mean, like I said, until we spar, then we're probably going to find out when are we going to be ready for another fight. The next question I have is, uh, well, we'll leave Mr. Perales off to the side for right now. Now, the Robert Campos training. Where's your gym? What do you guys focus on? Tell us about yourself and your, and your gym. Our gym is located at uh, Brownsville Parks and Recreation. It's uh, at 1338 East 8th Street in Brownsville, Texas, right across from the zoo, man. It's been there, it used to be the old Boys and Girls Club, but now it's the Brownsville Parks and Recreation. I mean, that gym actually opened the doors for me back in 1977 when I started fighting. I was 10 years old. I fought through all those, through, actually, my whole career I've been there. I've been there in, the, in that, actually, in that gym. And then when I turned pro, I came back and I started fighting right there with them pro professional. professional. And once I retired professional, I mean, it was kind of slow back, uh, you know, back in the days here, this profession, it was kind of slow. And then they offered me the job, you know, actually I was just going back to the gym just to work out and help kids out. So the director from there actually helped, you know, told me, hey, you want a job as a coach? I never thought myself going to be a coach, man, later on, you know, like, I said, wow, okay, I'll try it out, man. I don't know if I'm going to be a good coach or not. But at my second year as, as a coach, man, I actually made my first uh, a national champion. That was Oscar Zamora. 
And then from there on, I kept on doing it. I felt more relaxed, felt more comfortable with the kids. You know, I started training differently. My way, the way I wanted to be actually be trained. Because as a boxer and a coach, you, you actually listen to your coach. Because you know what I mean? You believe in it. You know, and I, when I started coaching, I started, you know, seeing a lot of different ways of training, techniques and stuff like that. So I actually started using it with the guys. And they started working. My techniques, uh, you know, started working pretty good. So ever since then, I mean, I've been doing that. And I love it, man, because I actually get to travel a lot of places, man. I've been in Russia, I've been in Denmark, I've been in England, I've been in Canada, man. A lot of places in the United States. I've been in Mexico, you know, competing because of boxing. With Emmanuel, I got to travel a lot of places. Now with Sergio, I've been traveling, like I said, this day to England now. Uh, we actually traveled once already. We'll probably travel again this coming year. I don't know, I mean, the thing about boxing, you get to travel to a lot of places and meet a lot of people. And basically, you know, our program is actually free. The only thing you pay in our, uh, our program is the membership, that's it. $55, it covers the whole year. We don't have a monthly fee, man, it's a free program. I'm there from five to nine, from Monday to Thursday, and from uh, four to eight on Friday, man. So our program is free, like I said, we help, you know, kids out and everything, I mean, anybody's welcome. Now, that was a pretty good description of, uh, of your gymnasium. Obviously, the history is there with uh, Mr. Campos, a lot of history. You've uh, made some amateur champions. You've worked with Emmanuel Augustus, professionals like Emmanuel Augustus, former world champion. Sergio Perales, who's fought a world champion before, who defeated uh, Corita Martinez, who was a world champion before. Um, you pretty much outlined everything. Yeah, well, I mean, well, Sergio, Sergio's got a big background, man. He actually was the first guy to make it to the Olympic trials. From all the amateurs in the valley, he was the one. Because uh, Sergio won the Junior, junior Olympics. He actually represented the United States. He fought eight countries. He won two, man. Este, he, he was three times uh, uh, state champion in the Golden Glove, twice in the Nationals. He actually fought Gary Russell in the Nationals. He lost to him on the, you know, on the National Tournament. He, uh, won, uh, he won the ball. He's been, uh, he won a lot of big tournaments. Jerry Guevara also did the same thing. He was right there behind, you know, behind him. And uh, like I said, I mean, uh, Sergio, he's shown all, ever since he started boxing that he was a warrior, he was a fighter, man. He loves to fight, and you see him, you know, actually saw him the last fight the way he fought. I mean, he don't quit. This guy, you gotta knock him out there to actually get him out there. Cause he's gonna keep on coming all the time, no matter what. I mean, uh, I have totally respect for him because, I mean, he's a warrior. He can fight, and he loves it, man. He's got all, I mean, he's got a big heart to, he can fight, dude, he can fight. Last question I got for you, Robert, is, who do you have coming up? Young professionals, experienced amateurs. Who should we look out for coming from? Robert uh, Campos, Jamaican. One right now, it's uh, Alejo Alguero. It's uh, the, uh, Jacob Gonzalez. That kid's only got eight fights. You gotta see the way he fights. A lot of people think he's got a lot of fights, man, but he doesn't. Amateur? He's pretty, amateur. He's only 16 years old. Uh, he's gonna be coming, uh, he's gonna fight next month in a tournament that's gonna be held in uh, Port Seville. The last month, uh, I think the 26, 27, 28, or something like that. Actually, the last days of June. So he's gonna be competing in that tournament. He's only 16 years old, but he can fight. He loves to fight. And I mean, he's got a lot of time. That kid picked it up kind of quickly, man. I've been sparring him with uh, Sergio a little bit. You know, working him out, not hard, because I mean, they're professionals, he's amateur, but the kid's been picking up stuff like that quickly, man. I mean, I'm very impressed with that kid. The way he fights, he's picking up a lot of stuff, man, big time. So I'm actually just kind of like, check him out, man. Look out for that guy. He's gonna be, be somebody when, actually when he turns pro, you're gonna like the way he fights, man. Are we ready? He, for even if you check him out right now, you'll like the way he fights. And every, everywhere I go, actually, to fight in the smoker, everybody, hey, where are they gonna fight? Everybody's asking me, they wanna see the way he fights, and they like the way he fights. Sounds great. Well, you heard it first on South Texas Contender. Keep, keep checking up with us for updates and news on local fighters and boxing.